Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're not familiar, this is Derek Jackson, spelled his way, and he has been circulating around the internet for participating in relationships outside his marriage. He was what you would call a relationship coach and his target audience were mainly black women who bought everything that he sold, hook, line, and sinker. Which brings me to the latter. The details of his tawdry affairs, plural, is the same. You know, boy meets girl, boy dates girl, on and off. Then, after immense pressure... I'm wrong or right? No. <laughs> I don't know why y'all listen to this dude anyway. I'm in a truck because he in the truck. But at the same time, we never see this dude out of his front seat. We Y'all listen to him. We don't even know if he got legs for real. And he giving all this advice. Let, let us see your legs, bro, before we listen to all this foolishness you doing, all this man bashing, man, putting all this negative energy in the... To live what he preaches... Boy impregnates girl, then marries girl. And allegedly the whole time during this fairy tale marriage, Boy has been having extra marital affairs. Of course, in enters the chat, the villain, aka the woman scorned, or should I say women scorned, to detail his extra curricular activities, be it with or without protection. Allegedly. No doubt to his wife's utter embarrassment and shame. I was never familiar with this man. A friend of mine brought me up to speed of who he was because I don't subscribe to that kind of advice, if you will. However, where I come in is where the church and the secular world collide, which introduces our recently admitted adulterous pastor John Gray, who has reopened that book of his to enter the conversation pertaining to this man's fall from social media grace, where he says, Hey Derek, you remember when I responded to your words about me? Remember when I posted videos about you? Neither do I. To be clear, I've slept with one woman in my life, my wife, but that does not absolve me of the wrong I did do. Any interaction or communication with anyone was wrong. My failures are mine, and I have gone through and continue to go through counseling to address the vast empty places that led me to the behavior that is antithetical to how I was raised, what I believe. I've learned in life that everyone gets a turn. When it was mine, I didn't obfuscate my wrong by addressing what I knew about others. I kept others' names out of my mouth. Maybe it would be wise to do the same. He wasn't done there. He continued. One more thing. I sincerely pray you and your family heal. I know how people throw you away. I will never do to another man what was done to me. May you receive the grace I didn't receive from others. May you rise to be a better man. One moment will not define you. How nice. Now, you may be wondering why is it that John Gray is responding to this man's recent skeleton revelation that were thrown out of his closet? And here is some context. More importantly, because again, this ain't about him. What is the price that any woman can expect to have to pay for trying to love a broken man? What scars are she, is she still dealing with to this day? That may never heal. And if no scars, then just in that eight year time span of trying to love you and raise you and give birth to you as a man, what would you say she risked resorting to? Because she already had her own battles to fight, but here she is fighting yours because you didn't get them to a point where you didn't need her to fight your battles for you or cover you in the places that you still needed healing. Like, that's how the conversation should have went. And I say that because these days we have this habit in one form or another, whether we're praising a ride or die chick for enduring all that, and now she a real one because she did. We have this habit of glorifying dysfunction and toxicity at the hands of a man while simultaneously using that as a measurement stick of the worth of a woman. A woman that's a lid and a covering, in which I agree with. Them. It was poetic and romantic. I love that. It's cool we're going to make that distinction between a woman that can propel you towards your destiny versus a woman that can stunt your growth or keep you from that. But in reference to the type of man that he's describing, a man that when a woman comes to only love him, he exchanges what would have been eight years of a healthy, fulfilling relationship that poured into her, helped her grow, and instead gave her eight years of raising his already 30-something-year-old grown ass. It sounds to me like, no disrespect, he was the lid. Interesting. So now we have the pot calling the kettle black. It's the righteous indignation for me.
I will link the video pertaining to John Gray and his many inappropriate relationships with women who aren't his wife. And some of you may say the number of times he so-called stepped outside of his marriage that he alleges isn't a lot. But so we're clear, there should be none, him being married and all. What's funny, if you're in a laughing mood, is that these two men are sitting up here on the internet having a back-and-forth conversation via social media pertaining to who is more guilty when they are both married. Neither seem contrite with the fact that they have embarrassed, humiliated, disgraced, and treated their so-called wives as accessories and not the high-end kind either. Both of these men pander to women who sometimes are in a bad place, even desperation, and God gives us gifts with which we are to use for good. And this Derek Jackson spelled incorrectly, and John Bring the Brisket Gray use their so-called talents for monetary gain and clout, in my opinion. What I do hope is that we shift focus from this man named Derek Jackson and that to his wife, who seems to be taking this quite hard as expected, no matter the strong face that she presents. And as for John Gray and his wife, well, I'm sure she encouraged him to say something. And if she didn't, she should have stopped him. I'm sure you'll agree, but if you don't, let me know in the comment section along with your many opinions on this rather ridiculous exchange between two so-called men who have admitted to being unfaithful in their marriage, one calling himself a pastor and the other a coach. Either way, I wouldn't want to be on either's team. If you haven't already, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, turn on your notification bell and stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one, or in Derek Jackson and John Gray's case, the next cheating scandal. Stay safe and goodbye. All these things, I have to wear a certain thing, I have to have the right lighting and all these things, that is not...